Cobalt Quiet Tech Air Compressor. It says 70 decibels. I heard one of these recently, and I would definitely confirm it is 70 decibels. It's the quietest compressor I have ever heard. Um, perfect for a uh, small garage. So, got everything to hook it up. Add this to uh, a welder for uh, pretty much get everything done that I need to get done. Here's what's in the box. Okay, wow. I thought there was gonna be some sort of padding or something on top of this. There's not. This is, uh, compressor comes all the way to the top of this. User manual. Looks like it's pretty well padded in there though. All the way around, a big thick pieces of foam in there. So uh, probably just take the staples out of this side and open the box up. All right, let me get it in the box. Get back to you. Little tip here: if you're ever trying to get into these things, wow, this is hard to do with one hand. Flip one end out, flip the other end out, and grab a grab a pair of pliers and just pull them out. Okay, pulled out all of the staples all the way across and then uh, couldn't really get it open. So lay it on its side, I'm gonna cut the bottom open and then pull it out that. Actually just lay this flat down. You'll see. Okay, had to change plan. Try to get it off from the bottom. But anyways, pulled all the staples out on this side and then probably should have just paid more attention. Got another staples on this side, all the way down. So let's just uh, shoot open up now oh, I missed one I missed one damn it you can see this thing's packaged very very well it had to be packaged pretty well I had to lay it on its side just because it's I think it weighs the box says 126 pounds so bring somebody with you if you don't think you can pick that up let me get all this off of here we can get a better view all right so here we go this is pretty cool so you get tool pressure and you've got your tank pressure all you do just spin this to uh, increase or decrease it and then you've got dual lines out all you do is just plug it in and go it does come with a three-year warranty the four and a half uh, cubic feet per minute at 90 psi is one of the higher for this size it's only 26 gallon but it's very very tall for a 26 gallon and then 158 150 psi the whole overall package it's probably about four feet tall in the depth i mean it's this top part is pretty big all the way across looks like it's uh let's call it 19 inches so it's 19 inches from front to back and then well it's just this stand the tank itself and everything else is about 16 inches across and then we'll call it 47 inches tall. So it's not the smallest package for this size for a 26 gallon compressor, but should fit well in the garage. All right, about to get it plugged in, one other thing I noticed is that it does have a provision here to hang your hose from. So that's pretty convenient. It's also got provisions here. Let's get this thing plugged in and see what it sounds like. All right, well, I hadn't read the direction, so I had a little difficulty figuring out how to turn it on. It's this little switch right here. Basically, it's on off, or can you read that? It says auto. So anyways, just flip it over. I feel like on video, this is gonna sound a lot louder than it actually is, but it's really, really quiet. Um, actually, I don't feel like I'm talking any louder than I was. Hopefully you can hear this. Um, so anyways, we'll see how fast it fills up. tank pressure. Set this to zero or low. Alright, 
it's 150 psi. It's the torque pressure at, it's at zero because I've got it set at zero. All right, let's see what happens when you crank it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, you can be very, very precise with this. Let's get it to 60. Let's turn it all the way up. Looks like it doesn't want to do 150 PSI output, but it's at 140. Yeah, right at 140. So let's see if when we back the when we if we decrease the pressure, does it automatically uh, equalize the pressure back down, or does it hold it? Oh, it does. All right, so we can get it down to 120. Back to 90. 60. Very cool. I'm going to leave it with no pressure in the system. Uh, keep from wearing and tearing on the uh, O-rings inside of the system. That may be completely wrong. Uh, check the manual. But that's what I'm going to do for the time being. Uh, i got 50 foot of hose. And uh, get this all put together and then start throwing some air and stuff. Honestly, need a lot of this just because changing out tires and working on the Jeep. And they take forever to air up. And uh, seeing as we have two vehicles with the same tires on them, I spent a lot of time mm -hmm. filling tires. So this seemed like a necessary add-on. So we'll see how it works. But as far as I can tell you, very, very, very quiet. You saw in real time, aired up. What was that? Probably five minutes. Four or five minutes from zero PSI to completely full. We'll see how this works. So very, very excited about this addition to the garage. All right. Final report. Just used it. Here's, uh, here's what it looks like with 50 foot of hose on it. Um, I did add a uh, quick disconnector. This thing is so fantastic. So it holds the pressure in the hose um, while you do this, but you click it once to disengage the uh, tool. It de uh, lets the pressure off, and then you click it twice and just the tool just comes out. So it's very, very nice. It's safe. It's really, really safe. So anyways, this is what it looks like with 50 foot. That's 50 foot of hose on there. The thing's super quiet, airs up, no problem. It just aired up four, four, basically uh, 33 and a half, 34 inch tires. Didn't realize it, but all, they were all low. I guess it's cold weather. So anyways, just aired them all up quickly. It did come on uh, on the fourth tire and then it was only on for probably 15, 20 seconds. So anyways, as of right now, I, uh, I totally approve. This thing's fantastic. So uh, I'll update the video if I have any issues, but it's good. I'm out.